In this video, we will discuss the eye, the different parts of the eye anatomically, as well as symptoms related to eye problems and different medical vocabulary as it relates to the eye. So first off, we're going to talk about the different anatomical parts of the eyeball. Um, some of this, there really is no vocabulary, no natural vocabulary in the Hmong language um, for the different parts of the eye, for example, the different layers of the eyeball uh, or the parts on the inside of the eyeball. So what I have here is a very basic description in the Hmong language of the function of that part of the eye. Many of these things could be said in a different way uh, in Hmong. However, I will point those out as we talk about them. The rest are natural Hmong terms that Hmong people use in the Hmong language um, that you can use as well. So with the exception of the first part here, many of the different anatomical terms are just descriptions in the Hmong language. I'll point out each one. Um, the rest of them are natural Hmong language again. So let's start with the first word, the word for the eye. This is a natural Hmong word. It is lu kha mua. Lu kha mua. And that's the same in white and green. Now, if we're going to talk about the pupil of the eye, also a natural Hmong term, lu jia mua. Lu jia mua. Or in green Hmong, lu jia mua. Lu jia mua. So, now let's go over some of the different parts of the, ana the anatomical parts of the eye. From this point on, these are descriptions. So for example, um, the sclera, which is the outside white part of the eye that you see, that's dai pao vo ho mua, dai pao vo ho mua, or dai plao vo ho mua, dai plao vo ho mua. As far as the iris, um, there are some rare older terms to describe the iris, but I think it's easier just to say Lungia mua feng mua si. Lungia mua feng mua si. Or lunja mua feng mua si. In green mong. Lunja mua feng mua si. And that is uh, not a natural term, but a description. Also not a natural term, but a description. The cornea. Dai ye mua ting dao wa pua dua cha. Again, dai ye mua ting dao wa pua dua cha. So that's a description saying essentially that the glass or the lens, the outer lens that um, bends the light or manipulates the light. In green mong, we could say the same thing as dai a mua ting dao gu. Okay, now referring to the lens, um, which is the, the inner lens, uh, we could say, which is also a description, not a natural term. Or in green mong, Again, Now, we talked about the white outer layer. Uh, there's an inner layer, or I should say a middle layer uh, of the eyeball, which is mostly, which is a vascular layer or veins called the cord. And that is in Hmong, which again is a description, it is that term in Hmong, which again is a description, is Tang lan cha vo ho mua. Tang lan cha vo ho mua. Or in green Hmong, we could say the same thing as Tang lan chang vo ho mua. Tang lan chang vo ho mua. Referring to the retina, which is the inner layer of the eye and also the one with the rods and cones, the part that uh, accepts sunlight or receives sun uh, receives light sorry receives light and allows you to see that layer in Hmong could be described as in white Hmong as dai blua zai dua cha dai blua zai dua cha could say the same thing in green Hmong as dai blua zai blua chang dai blua zai blua chang 
referring to the macula, which is a spot that receives a focus of light. Um, you could call that in white mong, lu kho wo zai duo chang. Lu kho wo zai duo chang. In white mong, you could refer to that as lu kho wo zai duo cha. Lu kho wo zai duo cha. In green mong, you could say the same thing as lu kho ku zai duo chang. Lu kho ku zai duo chang. Referring to the optic nerve, which sends the these signals to the brain from the eye to the brain, we could describe that in white mong as so ling sa so the ko mua zhao lu lu, so ling sa so the ko mua zhao lu lu. In green mong, we could say the same thing as zu ling sang su the ko mua zhuo lu lu, zu ling sang su the Referring to the thick liquid in the center of the eye, the vitreous body, uh, we could say In green mong, the same thing, you could say And referring to the, ret the retus muscle, the, the muscle that uh, moves the eye, uh, we could call that Zhao Ling Zhu Kho Mua Da or Zhu Ling Gu Kho Mua Da Zhu Ling Gu Kho Mua Da in white and green Hmong respectively. Now let's get to some medical terms. We'll talk about some of the terms relating to eye exams, um, glasses, etc. So for an eye exam, same term in white and green Hmong, you could say I believe kua is a borrowed term, but it's pretty universal for any kind of testing. Referring to an eye doctor or an ophthalmologist, you could say or in green mong couple of terms, um, three terms relating to blindness. The word for blind as a symptom is di mua. Di mua in white mong. In green mong, it is li mua. Li mua. Referring to sunglasses, they use the same term for glasses. I've just heard them called as black glasses. So they say lu jo ye du. Lu jo ye du in white mong. And lu cho a lu, lu cho a lu in green mong. If someone were used to use a walking cane uh, as a blind person to see their way, you could just call that tu pa di, tu pa di, or tu pang di, tu pang di in green mong, respectively. That's just a cane in general. If we go down to glasses, eyeglasses, the term is, the short term is lu cho ya, lu cho ya. That could also refer to a magnifying glass. So we could say it as a longer, more official term as lu cho ya ho mua, lu cho ya ho mua. In green mong, the same term, lu cho a ho mua, lu cho a ho mua. Sometimes people just refer to it as a or ya. Ye in white mong, uh, in green mong. Now, if we were to wear sunglasses, jo jo ye, jo jo ye, or jo jo a in green mong, jo jo a again in green mong. There's a kind of a unique term in that's used in mong colloquially, um, which is to have to get a prescription, but literally it means to cut the glasses, as in to have glasses cut to fit your needs uh, if you have vision problems. So this isn't like you would just go buy glasses at the store, um, but this is when you go see a doctor, have your eyes measured, uh, and then they give you a prescription to cut the glasses, to cut that lens for you. They literally just say, cut the glasses. In white mong, zia jo ya, zia jo ya. Or in green mong, za jo a, za jo a. 
Um, there's not really a common term I've heard for contact lenses, but you can describe them as or in green mo, respectively. Again, for a case, um, not a term I've heard that's a universal term, but you could say or in green mong, that could be any kind of case for glasses, whether contact lenses or eyeglasses. Now let's talk about some symptoms directly. So what are some symptoms that you can have with the eye? Well, I guess this is not a symptom, but um, just discussing vision in general, along with symptoms, to start off with, there's a colloquial expression in the Hmong language to see, um, which literally translates to see the road or to see the path. But it's used for uh, if someone asks, can you see, you don't just say the word P-O-M, pa. You would say pa ke in white Hmong, pa ke, or in green Hmong, pu ke, pu ke. And that means to be able to see. So to not be able to see, chi pa ke, chi pa ke in white Hmong, chi pu ke, chi pu ke in green Hmong. Interestingly, the word for open and close is used quite a bit for many different things, but not the, the common word for to open a door, for example, for example, is not used to describe opening the eyes or the mouth. Uh, there's a unique term for open and close for the eyes and the mouth. So to open the eyes in green and white mong is zhuo ko mua, zhuo ko mua, and that means to open the eyes or the mouth, but in this case, we're talking about eyes, right? So, is to open the eyes. Unfortunately, the word for open regarding a door, a jar, many of the things is Q-H-E-B. Uh, however, when we're talking about the eyes or the mouth, the word for close is a very similar sounding word, Q-E, just Q-E. And that means close the eyes. So it's easy to get those two mixed up. It helps if you know how to differentiate them. Now, if you were to wink, you would say, or in green mong, in some places that was also used to blink. Uh, in my experience, can refer to wink, while as to blink would be Jai mua, jai mua, and that's the same in white and green mong. For someone who is cross-eyed or has a lazy eye, uh, in any case, I two eyes pointing in different direction, you say la mua, la mua, in both green and white mong. To glance off to the side really quickly, just to look to one side or the other, you would say la mua. Like more. Now, if you know the word for to rub, like to rub your face with a towel or something, shaw, S O, you may think that applies to the eyes, but really any kind of rubbing like this, um, you know, like you would rub, I don't know, grain together or something like that, uh, they use the word MOS, so, or, or MOG in green mong. So in white mong, you would say to rub your eyes, you'd say, ma ko mo. Ma ko mua. And in green mong, you'd say ma ko mua. Ma ko mua. There are a couple of different words that are easy to get mixed up because the meaning is very similar, but really they are different. So if you were to say to look, uh, now that's not to see or to stare, but to look, that's shy, shy in both green and white mong. So look over there or look at this, shy. If you were to say to see, simply to see, not to look or to stare, you would say fall, fall. So someone asked, can you see this? Oh, fall, I see. 
Now, if you were to stare at something or to look intently at something, you can use the word njia, njia in white mong and nja, nja in green mong. There's an intensifier that can be added to either of those words, which makes you staring more intently or to look more closely, to stare more closely. Jia jong, jia jong, or in green mong, jia jong, jia jong. To see something blurry, or if your vision is blurry, you would say, ho mo plong, ho mo plong. And that is the same in white and green mong. Finally, a phrase that comes up a lot medically, which needs to be described in mong. Um, I've never heard it described in a universal way. Many people describe it different ways, but that's double vision. Uh, so one way it could be described is So that would be like you have blurry vision, you see one image becoming two images. That's a very long description, but I think it's probably the most easy to understand. Maybe there's a better way to say it. I've heard people say it multiple different ways. Um, that's white mong. So in green mong, you could say the same thing as Thank you for taking the time to listen to some of the terms that we've gone over today. I hope it helps get a broader picture of how to describe vision. I and the I in the Hmong language. If I missed anything, please let me know if you have any suggestions to add, because I always like to add uh, anything and everything that we can to describe vision. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.